Today, I'd like to review for you one of my favorite games growing up, Crash Bandicoot Warped. Now this one was the third in the Crash series to come out. Warped with its fun setup and methods of travel, this allows you to explore different themed areas as Crash Bandicoot along with your sister Coco Bandicoot as you fight your way through bosses to destroy Dr. Neocortex and the evil he released, Uka Uka. The basic goal in this game is to collect crystals. The crystals are what the villains are after and it is your job to find them and take them back. Also along the way for collecting all the boxes in the zones, you receive gems. As you advance through the game, there are always five levels in a zone. Once you collect the crystals from the five levels in that given area, you are challenged by a boss. The first being Tiny the Tiger. These bosses should not be taken for granted. They are mean, unforgiving, and Tiny will feed you to his lions if you don't watch where you step. All of the levels have a unique theme to them. In some, you are underwater, riding a motorcycle, traveling through a pyramid, riding a tiger through China, or walking by in a futuristic city. The variety is satisfying and creative. After collecting crystals and beating bosses, there's always time to go back, even if you beat the entire game. As a reward for going back, you're given time trials. These time trials, they give you relics. Once you collect all the relics, along with the gems and crystals, you unlock a special zone that's definitely worth it all. The basic playthrough of Warped is not too difficult, but some tasks can tend to lead to your death. Just the collision on enemies alone can range from small to large, and running into them can be fatal. However, if you have Aku Aku by your side, your life will be spared when you get hit by something. Crash Bandicoot Warped is a total catch for anybody who enjoyed any previous released Crash games or who enjoys platformers. It has a great storyline and content to keep you entertained.